time with the char charm. It's it's difficult. We took a lot of videos and a lot of photos <laughs> at the concert, and apparently our uh, SD card didn't like that. Well, at least we took a lot of footage for you guys. <laughs> Rest in peace. <laughs> Rest in peace. Yeah, this but so sad. Back to the beginning. We went to do 4K's concert! Yes! Thank yes. you so much, Cancer Music and Kinetic Vibe, for giving us the chance to go in there as press. Yes. Uh, it was amazing. Yeah. It was a great concert. And everybody did their part. The group did, the fans did, the security was amazing, the staff was pretty good, the translator was great. Yes. We had such a good time, so we're gonna tell you in detail. Yes! For the fourth time. <laughs> We're trying to be as uh, upbeat oh, about man. this as po possible. But we arrived at the venue at about 4 p.m. with our great new friend Amy. Thank, Thank you, you for so having a car. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, and Amy was silver VIP. Yes. So we had to look for that queue. That was kind of problematic because there were so many queues. So it took a while for us to find the right queue. There was just so many different categories of um, tickets. We. We still think four categories is a bit it's a lot. much. It, it really is a lot. We, we understand why it had to be there, but like the queuing was a bit difficult finding your the right yeah. queue. Um, but a lot of volunteers and friends and people organized it really well outside, so that was nice. The security of the place also helped really yeah, nicely. They did. They did. They were really friendly, unlike other security we have uh, experienced at other concerts. We asked them questions and when they didn't know they said, Oh I'm sorry, I don't know, you have to ask somebody else. Not yeah. like Yeah, I don't care. Go away. Yeah. We we <laughs> so experienced that, great. that, yes. Thank you so much for that. Um so um our friend found her place and we found our place after asking around a little. We got in after all the VIPs got in. Yeah. And then we got to choose wherever we wanted to stand. <laughs> uh which was and we don't know we didn't want to block the view of any of the VIPs because they paid a lot of money. Yeah, so we stood at the very back of the VIP area in front of the general area so we can take some nice footage for you guys. Yeah, so enjoy the first two songs of the concert. <laughs>
pretty good. Starting yeah. with Bingo was amazing. Was a good idea. We would have liked Heaven even better, but yeah. Bingo was great. Yeah. Um, and yeah, the boys were so charming. Yeah. Um, I don't know, was it right after that song or after another song? They did an early mend? I think it was after the first two songs. Yeah. Or maybe after the third one, I don't know. But an introduction mend. And Corey spoke a lot of English, which was so nice yeah. to connect to him. That he connected amazing. to the audience well. He even joked, <laughs> uh, since in the, the audience uh, seemed to uh, understand him really well, that he would just translate, be the translator for the evening. Um, but we had a great German translator. Yeah, he did, he did it really well. Yeah, he did a super good job um, translating very fluently and yeah. smoothly. And he also, he interacted with the boys and the audience alike, and it just... It didn't feel like there was a barrier between us. No, it was it was really he connected the audience with the group. Yeah. So that was amazing. He he really did the part of a translator there. Yeah. So that was sweet. They performed all of the songs they also promoted and I think that after a while there was a second mend where they surprised <laughs> asked three audience members to come on stage and do the bingo choreography. Um Kinetic Vibe kinda announced that very early on into the tour. Uh, but yeah, some people were still surprised. And, and a lot of people were really happy at yeah. the opportunity. The three girls who were on stage really had a great time. And it just, for us, it felt like a little bit long because after they had to perform the dance, they also had to do a dance battle. And I think that part was a bit long. Yeah. Just to give, give creative criticism for people who organize concerts. <laughs> <laughs> well, but um, Tufake also felt that, I think, that the audience at some point was kind of like, ah, oh, all right, when is it over? Because the girls, they had a great opportunity. They got signed albums, I think, signed still Tufake albums, which didn't really, they weren't sold, I think. So that was pretty awesome. Um, but the audience didn't really get anything out of it, except for some entertainment for a while. And it was incredibly hot. Um, yeah. They mentioned that too. They were like, oh, this is the hottest stage we ever stood on. I doubt that. I really doubt that because they are from Korea. It's summer in Korea. And it's summer in really Korea is so hot. But still. Um, so after the dance battle, Carter was like, oh, audience, are you? did you cool down a lot? You guys are so quiet now, so you have to hype up again. So that was kind of sweet. But they continued strong. They did um, team solo stages which was also really cool they had a ballad singing stage it's it wasn't really a ballad it was no. quick enough that i yeah, really yeah, enjoyed yeah. It, it was quite a quick song but it was like for the vocals yeah and then it had a rapper stage which was also really cool yeah. really cool really cool really cool john was so cool yeah he didn't look into the audience that's no. how cool he was <laughs> <laughs> but the stage was amazing the song was so great yeah. um knowing obviously nothing about tiff okay is he the one who did a mixtape? One of them did a mixtape. I think it was him. Probably. Um, I listened to that briefly. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He has a different rapper name, right? I don't know. I don't know. Please let us know in the yeah, comments. Yeah, tell us if more you about know more about Tufoke. Because we are really interested now because they did such a great show. Yes. Um, then we had dance stage. Dance yeah, stage. the dance stage. That was beautiful. <laughs> That was really nice. I picked a favorite at the show. It, it was very fast. Yeah. He, he looked at me and I looked at him and it just happened. He didn't look at me. <laughs> he looked in your general direction. He looked in my general direction, but he is very cute. They were all really cute. They were, they were. so amazing. Um, but the dance stage was awesome coming back to that. They did like a little, um, what's it called, remix of different songs. Yeah. And they also danced to Bruno Mars 2-4K Magic, or 24K Magic, which was really funny because they are 2-4K and it's like 2-4K Magic and, you know, it fit, it was so nice. Yeah. And then sometime before or after the unit performances, they did big bangs, bang, bang, bang. And the audience exploded. Poof. Then they did the ending mend at yeah. the very end. Which, which was, was so, yeah, yeah, it was, it was so sweet. They're in love with Germany. They are. We're in their favorite country. Yeah, uh -huh. they want to spend their birthdays here and Christmas and Oktoberfest. Yeah, and a drink German of, beer yeah. and eat German food. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah they are ours. So um, no, <laughs> it was, but they, it was really charming that they had a lot of 
things to say about Germany because it made it feel way more personal instead of just saying some regular things of Europe is great. <laughs> yeah, we like Europe. So it, it made us feel special. Yeah, it, it yeah. Um, I think some things they said were so cute though, like, I don't know how to pronounce his name, Hui? Yeah. Hui? That's how you spell it, H-U-I. Hui. Yeah. He's Chinese, right? Um, he talked about how he studied Korean with German friends. Yeah, and how he watched the, the soccer World Cup with his German fans, where we won. Yeah, obviously. so that was really sweet. That, that, I don't know, that was like an anecdote that really connected with us. Yeah. That was super nice. Um, and they promised to come back. Yes, so we don't have any official statement, but we heard a few of the staff say it a few times. So they might come back and we want to say, guys, it's so worth it. Yeah, really. Do Even if you don't really know them. Yeah, just, just get like the, the general music. tickets because yeah. for the venue we went to, the general tickets also had a really good view in our opinion. Um, one of the few things that really stuck out were that were so many young fans there yeah yeah with the parents yeah i've never seen that many parents at a concert no. like the parents to audience ratio was probably i don't know five percent yeah they, i don't know how much it was but uh, there were a lot of parents a lot of dads who were really annoyed by the end of the concert <laughs> but guys tell your dad what he's getting into if he's going to you with your boy band concert and get him earplugs Yes, get him Also, your boyfriend. Was... if your boyfriend's going there with you, get him earplugs too. <laughs> they were. The audience was really loud. It was Boy, you different. got yeah. your money's worth at 2-4-K. Yes. Because they performed such a long they, time. They were supposed to perform two hours, and I think they performed for two and a half hours. Yeah. That was that was great. It could be because the man's were really long, but it, it, it felt great to get your money's worth of performance. Uh, we didn't attend the High Five event, but our friend did, and she said it was really great too we can't really tell you we haven't heard anything negative no uh though and it, apparently you they weren't rushed yeah exactly that's the point yeah. they, it, it didn't sound like they were rushed through it they had time um they were i think they were told to high five everyone with the left hand or something and yeah. then they high five with both hands apparently um, we don't know um but it must have been super sweet and yeah. it was after all of the other audience was out we had a great experience we didn't go there expecting a lot but we were we were so positively yeah. oh. charmed yes. by them. Yes. Like we we knew that the music was gonna be great and the performance was gonna be awesome, but then they they just blew us away with their with their personalities too and their talent and it was just it was super nice. Yeah. So really recommending that. We are once again thankful for all the great organization everyone did. Kansan, Kinetic Vibe, all the staff. All yeah. the security, all the venue people, the all the fan staff, the boys, people organizing projects which we didn't really see at all because we got there so late. But I think there was a sign book, a sign flag. They had sign flags. Yeah, they had two sign flags. All even. of those things. So that was super sweet too. Yeah. Thank you so much for making this such a great experience. We had lots of fun. We think everybody else had too. Yeah. And we're looking forward to the next time. Okay. We hope you like this uh, short. <laughs> video of ours if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel if you want to stay updated we don't know which concerts we're attending we're going to block b but we're not sure how much we're gonna film there take you along ah one more thing we took photos a lot of them we're gonna upload a few we don't know how much yet on our facebook page so head over there see if you see yourself if you were in the audience and um yeah have a great time, have a great next concert, and we will see you again very soon. Bye! Bye.